It took 26 years and five months for John Paul II to forever change the way the world saw a pope. The media recorded every moment of this revolution, from his strong personality and dedication to his more personal side. The Pope definitely wasn't afraid to smile. When this clown performed a skit, he couldn't help but laugh. It was a known fact that he had a great sense of humor and also that he loved theater and sports. Exercising was much more than just a hobby. He was the youngest pope to have been elected in the 20th century and exercise was quite important to him. From going up the stairs to covering two full steps at a time, at least once he left the Vatican incognito to go skiing and hiking. It was a place where he could clear his mind and meditate. When it comes to moving moments, there's plenty to choose from. He wouldn't shy away from giving hugs like this one with a Bolivian mine worker. But just as easily, the Pope also showed his strong character, frustration, and even anger. Perhaps one of the most memorable public moments was when Nicaraguan priest Ernesto Cardenal was scolded by the Pope as he knelt down and kissed his hand. The priest had become involved with the Sandinista government, which tried to limit the role of the Catholic Church in that country. Another moment that marked his pontificate was when he met and forgave the man who tried to kill him back in May 13, 1981. Not only did the Pope forgive Ali Agka, he also met with his mother in 1996 when she asked him to support her son's amnesty request. He started the new millennium with a one-of-a-kind ceremony. In the year 2000, he led Mass at St. Peter's Basilica, where he asked God to forgive the Church for all the sins it had carried out in history, from the Inquisition to the persecution of Jews. During his pilgrimage to the Holy Land, he left a prayer petition in the Wailing Wall, where he also asked for forgiveness. The document is now part of the Holocaust Museum. John Paul II showed compassion and understanding. He was pontiff for almost 27 years. With more than 200 trips throughout the world, he hugged thousands of people along the way. One of the most unforgettable moments was when he blessed a former prostitute with AIDS in the Jubilee for the year 2000. Just like any other person, John Paul II had friends. One of them was a woman he used to share the spotlight on stage. Over the years, they remained friends, even when Carol Wojtyla was ordained a priest and eventually became Pope. Eventually, age and illness took over the energetic and strong John Paul II. Still, he continued to travel, never hiding his limits from the eyes of the world. His strongest message was perhaps his life, a silent cry that moved forward and echoed in the hearts of thousands of people.